Hello again people of YouTube, I just had an idea for another basic Logic X tutorial on a feature which helps you to change your time signature, key signature and make some markers so if you're a composer or a songwriter for example if you write classical music and you have time signature changes in your piece this will hopefully help you figure out how to use this so the easiest way to open this up is just to move to this little button here and click that and you'll see these menus drop down but another way to do this and a faster way to do this is um, if you see this blue outline around the audio tracks you can press the G key on your keyboard and then that will open up like so so I'll start us off with the changing of the time signature this isn't accurate to my project but I'll show you just for an example so I'll move the playhead to bar 73 and wherever you want your new time signature to start you need to move the playhead to the bar or the beat that you want it to change at so then you click the little plus sign here and then you enter the time signature that you would like so for example I'll just put in 6 4 and then click OK so then you can move this around by clicking and dragging on the left side of the time signature change and to change your key signature you want to click on the time signature and it will highlight and then double click and then you can change your key like so either major or minor so then I'll just change this to F sharp minor for example so the next thing I'm going to show you is how to make a marker so for example if you want to mark out where a guitar solo is you'll move your playhead to the bar where it begins click the little plus icon and then you can type in for example guitar solo if you zoom out you can see that extends to the end of the project you can move this around and shorten it again by clicking on the left hand side etc or you can click and drag the whole thing to move it around inside the project okay so the next thing will be arrangement again you just click the little create arrangement marker option and then you have a drop down list from intro, verse, chorus, bridge and outro and then you can extend the length of these like so or you can potentially rename it by double clicking or by using the drop down list so you can change that again to for example bass solo Okay, so the last feature I'm going to show you on this is how to change the tempo of your piece. So what you want to do is zoom in so you can be accurate and again you want to move the playhead to the bar where you want your tempo to change or your beats per minute. And then you double click on the blue line and it will create a new plot point. And then you can just click this point, move it left and right if you want to change your beats per minute in the middle of a bar but it's usually typical to have it on the first beat of a bar and then you can move it up and down to change your tempo so that is the overall guide on how to use these features hopefully this has helped you let me know what you think in the comments if you have any more questions or you need any more help thanks for watching and i'll see you soon